Hi, I'm Alexander Vlad, and I'm here to show you how to use the Batch Output Tools in Aftershop Pro to generate your images quicker and accelerate your workflow. Aftershop Pro is a workflow tool, and it's geared towards processing a large number of images in a really efficient fashion. Batches save you time by letting you output one or many photos at a time by simply clicking a batch name. For example, Corel Aftershot Pro includes the following batches. 16-bit TIFF, 8-bit TIFF, Download, Gallery, JPEG Full Size, and JPEG Proof. The 16-bit TIFF and 8-bit TIFF batch queues export images to full-size TIFF files, and the JPEG Full Size batch queue is self-explanatory. With a JPEG Proof batch queue, you can export images that are about 50% of the original size. They're pretty good when you want to send a sample. Download is a unique type of batch that lets you copy images from a camera memory card to your computer. So unlike the other output batches, this one accelerates your import. Gallery not only outputs images, but it generates a custom website for showcasing your work. Let's start by exporting using an existing batch preset. Select one or more of the thumbnails from the thumbnails panel. I'm going to select all with control A, click the output tab, and in the batch output section, drag the thumbnails over a batch name or press the shortcut key associated with the batch. The shortcut key for each batch is shown to the right of each batch name in the batch output section. For example, press T to send the selected versions to the 16-bit TIFF batch. Select the folder to output your images to. There you go. And you're done. And if I go to this folder in the file tree under the file system tab, there you can see all the photos I just exported saved as TIFFs. Now let's create a custom batch. You can configure batches with your favorite settings so that you can process many images very quickly without having to choose a folder, image format, rename format, and other settings each time that you export. First, click the output tab, and then right click a blank area of the batch output section and choose new from the context menu. In the batch export settings dialog box, type a name in the batch name box. Here we go. Then choose the settings that you want to use for the batch. Let's try it out. Now that we have that done, I'm going to export to my folder and let's make them 80% actual size and we'll have it apply this preset on the export. Here's the batch we created appearing in my output menu. Just drag your photos over top and you'll see your batch complete, including the number of items and time to completion with a message right on the screen. To edit, duplicate, or delete a batch, simply right-click on your batch in the Batch Output menu, and you'll find these options. Now let's go take a look at the images that we've outputted to our folder using our new batch preset. And here they are with all the settings we applied when we created our batch. Aftershot Pro has a significant speed advantage over its competitors when it comes to batch output. It even outputs four times faster than Adobe Lightroom. The time savings can be significant when you have a lot of photos to process. It can get your high res and your web res out the door and uploaded to a client really, really fast. It saves you time testing concepts against a whole group of images. It all adds up every second counts. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Alexander Vlad.